हेलो प्रणव गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू दिस सेशन ऑफ मास्टर क्लास स्पेस कैन यू प्लीज फॉर्मली इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ यस सर गुड इवनिंग सर आई एम प्रणव भट क्लास ट्वेल्व पास आउट करेंटली वेटिंग फॉर माई एडमिशन टू यूनिवर्सिटीज सो I I've been uh, I've been a resident of Bangalore since in my whole life, mm-hmm. and I've studied in uh, a school called BGS NPS in Bangalore. Um, my most of my education happened in Bangalore. In Bangalore only. Very nice. Very nice. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So Pranav, uh, how has been your uh, prep journey and results with respect to JE, JOSA, like JE Advance, JE Main, and BEDSAT? How has how have they been? uh sir my like uh, overall my journey has been uh, like smooth like i would say a little tough towards the end but overall it was quite smooth i got what i expected and mm-hmm. uh, overall it was well, i would say somewhat uh, close to what i had expected from in the beginning of 11th grade okay okay that's really great because if you have achieved something which you aimed for that's very nice so pranav you you have been our uh, master class space bitsat test series student uh, what was this, your final bitsat score sir my final bitsat score was 328 320 very nice that's a great score and uh, with this score what have you got uh, right now uh, i am getting bits go uh, computer science uh, mm-hmm. right now as of iteration 2 okay. i'm expecting in further rounds that it will get uh, upgraded definitely definitely it would get upgraded that's great so pranav basically you as you said that uh, at beginning of 11th we set a target right and that target yes. is rarely about bitsat that is always about i believe uh, j main j advance right so bitsat come yes, quite late in the picture now what would be your most important advice when students decide to start preparing for bitsat what should be they like focus on uh sir i would say like it's okay to keep an aim on bits pilani specifically because it's a very good college right so it's not wrong to keep an aim but my main thing is just prepare for j advance like from the starting mm-hmm. because in india if you look at most of the exam like j advance is the most like prestigious and tough exam so like you would be if you completely prepare for j advance then you can like stay safe and you will be assured that you can do well in bitsat without much like Mm-hmm. preparation or putting too much effort into it okay that's great so uh, specifically for bitsat what is it which needs to be focused which otherwise might be missed uh, during je preparation uh, sir i think uh, the two extra subjects logical reasoning and english proficiency like mm-hmm. uh, for many people if they haven't done exams like ntsc then it will be quite new like mm-hmm. uh, like ex- especially english proficiency it requires a little bit of practice etc like most of the time mm-hmm. uh, or like another thing is analysis like uh, in the beginning i quite somewhat underestimated bitsat tests mm-hmm. because like it was somewhat easy like most of the questions even if i was getting like uh, 290 300 marks i i never like used to analyze it okay. then i realized that i had to start analyzing so that i get up the cutoffs for the bits pilani computer science so uh, that's when i started critically analyzing it. That's, that's one great. part which that's great yeah, can you can you just elaborate it bit like what it exactly means to analyze uh, analysis means like uh, after you attempt a paper mm-hmm. like uh, if you attempt a paper for 3 hours like at least dedicate minimum of like 1 and a half hour or even 3 hours to just like go through the entire paper mm-hmm. i think you can even like for a bitsat paper you can spend around 1 and a half hour that's more than enough to analyze the entire paper so you can just like uh, whatever like platform you using like if it, mostly it will be online so mm-hmm. there'll be enough facilities for you to easily analyze it you can like quickly uh, go through all the questions find out where you made mistakes and then you can like you can see the solution or you can even uh, you know if you if you found a question very tough but you somehow still got it correct you can go back to that question and see what could you have done much better so to you know answer the question faster Very That's nice. one thing. Very nice. Definitely, was. that is a very important thing. And uh, thanks for pointing it out. Then, uh, Prana, what do you feel like? Not just from your experience, maybe from your peers' experience or anything. Like, 
which aspect generally aspirants miss out during preparation what is one thing which you feel uh sir the main thing uh, the aspirant miss out is i think asking doubts or like mm-hmm. uh, whenever you learn a concept mainly like i've seen most of my friends like when they first enter into 11th grade uh they'll be like they'll be quite shy to ask the teacher sometimes they'll think like if we know only something about for example there's a hard concept in physics mm-hmm. like physics is one subject where you tend to make many assumptions right, right. So, so because of that they rarely ask uh, questions they'll just assume whatever the teacher has told like in that particular frame of time like one hour class and then they'll it'll affect them in the end like j advance on the day of j advance maybe it will come back and like haunt you or something like that yeah that's that's, that's a think. great advice that's very very relatable actually and yeah. uh, that's definitely very useful so uh, prana when did you uh, purchase our series was it before session 1 or after session 1 uh, before session 1 okay so how did you find this series and how relevant it was in your preparation journey sir i think the series overall is quite relevant itself like uh, compared when i went in actually attempted bits at session 1 it was like quite relevant itself most like especially in Uh, english proficiency and logical reasoning mm-hmm. like if you go to other test series maybe they'll just directly pick questions from somewhere else like i experienced that but here like most of the questions were made like uh, from the scratch like it wasn't available anywhere uh, so like i helped in english proficiency mainly okay great that's great to know so uh, now pranav uh, i i am pretty sure definitely with 328 Uh, bits pilani cs uh, would definitely be secured so are you closing on bits or is there any o- other option oh, like which you are comparing it with uh, sir my main focus is bits pilani computer science right now like if i get that i'll uh, mostly go for that itself mm-hmm. like considering that it's a computer science course so i'll pro- most probably go for that definitely that would be a great choice for sure and so you have a lot of free time how are you spending that yes. uh free time as in like i'm mostly like reading novels right now and like on spare time i'm trying to learn a little bit of you know coding maybe because like going into the university it might be turn out to be helpful okay. like yeah that's what i'm doing right now that's that's great that's great so pranav thanks a lot for sharing your inputs and uh, it is only through uh, students like you who are willing to share their experience of preparation that upcoming students are able to learn right so it's a, yes, it's a very useful thing for them thanks a lot pranav for sharing this thank yes. you and yes, all sir, the best yes. for your future endeavors yes sir thank you sir.